Loves is Yuli from Yuli's Boutique, and I'm just here to answer a question. Uh, many of our customers want to know exactly what size the item is. Um, they see the measurements, but they want to know, okay, Yuli, but is that an 8? Is it a 10? Is it a 12? Let me explain to you what we do. Now, when you walk into a store in person, you see a 10. You try on that 10 and you realize, I wear a 10, but this particular 10 is a little smaller than normal. Let me go try on a 12. The 12 fits perfectly. So a lot of time, the size fit depends on the maker and the brand. So perhaps you may fit a 10, but in another size, another maker, you may need an eight. You fit a 10, you might need a 12. It depends on who made it. So in our shop, we use measurements because we are an online shop. So you will see the size is stated, but you will also see the measurements to ensure that you order the proper size. So if you're not quite sure how to get your measurements, I'm here to show you. So the first thing you'll need is a measuring tape. And there's a few particular areas that are very important. The first is your waist. You need to obtain your waist. So you'll take the tape measure and you will go completely around your waist and we're measuring with inches. And then where the measurement stops, that would be your, your waistline. So this young lady would be a 26, okay? That would be her waist. Now, for hips, we would do the same thing. Now, hips are always measured exactly seven inches under the waistline. So it's the largest portion of your hips. And so you could go around the same way and measure your hips. You're going to pretend she's a little taller than she is and measure your hips. Of course, you'll be a lot lower than this. And that will be 35 inches. So your hips are more like this area here, down there. So now you also need your bust, your bust. Same thing, you'll go completely around and you want to measure at the very uh, largest part. So you would go to the very, very largest part of your bust and measure completely around the chest and then where that meets, that is your bust. Now, something else you might need for slats, if you're ordering slats, you'll also need your inseam. Now, the inseam, uh, it's not measuring from here to the floor. It's not that. Your inseam is actually between your legs. So, if this um, mannequin had legs, the inseam would be the inside of her legs, starting from the crotch all the way down. To, uh, to her feet. That's, that's how much space she would need for her inseam. Does that make sense? So it's not the outside portion, but it's inside the crouch area. Starting from here, going all the way down, that number is your inseam. And you will need that if you're ordering pants or slacks or anything of that nature online. So if you're ordering dresses, make sure that you have your bust, your waist, your hips, if you're ordering uh, slacks or pants, make sure that you have your waist, your hips, and your inseam. Measure your numbers against the numbers in the ad, and you'll know for sure whether you can fit that item. So I hope this does help you. And again, we, we will continue to put sizes, but please, please, please double check your measurements, please. Just because you fit one size may not mean that you can fit that same size in an alternate make, okay? So we appreciate you. Thank you for joining us and thank you for being such amazing customers. We love each and every one of you because without you, my love, there is no love. Take care.